I would have gotten some pretty good shit. So, that's good. Anyway, those guys, very annoying. There's a button over here that you can use to just murder them. It's always good business. You don't get their experience, but it's still kind of funny. And there we go. And it doesn't really do anything. As far as I know, it actually stays like that. So that's kind of interesting. Anyways, uh, I actually missed something here, and that was the rock candy, which is a pretty useful item because, you know, you can kill a bunch of bitches with it at once. It's probably one of your most powerful items you could ever get in the game. But when we press that button in Booster Tower, this strange area seems to have excavated itself. It's nice to know simple buttons can do that. If we head over here, we can actually- oof, Apprentice? Golly, you're that famous Mario guy! If I beat you, they'll make me sniff it four if I'm lucky. Uh, I don't think so, good sir. And he would literally just be Apprentice. I think he actually might be a Spookum. Like a straight up Spookum. So, let's just kill him in a single move. That works well. <laughs> yeah, one experience. You're definitely gonna be sniffing number four. <laughs> what? Now they'll make me take the training course over again! No! Yeah, so this is basically what all the fuss was about. Three items! Sweet! Flower, frog coin, and... A Kiro Kiro Cola. Excellent. This is a pretty sweet haul, so let's get the hell out of here. By suicide, I guess. <laughs> and rolling. <laughs> See, I could have sworn you like roll out like that in front of Mary Moore after you do the whole booster pass, which is weird, or booster this thing, booster hill. But um, do we end it here? Let's do a couple more things before we head to Star Hill, I guess. Make this a couple couple episodes in the making. We don't need to do that much stuff. So we're gonna head back to Booster Tower. There's one thing that we can actually do here that I would like to make note of, and just because we'll go in and talk on our way up because it's... The song is awesome! And this place is gonna be amazing. Although it's not gonna be amazing that we're not gonna be here anymore. And you know what? I still need to switch on over to Peach. Let's, let's do that. Peach is basically gonna be your bonafide healer. So keep that in mind when you have her in your party because if you don't, then that'll just be silly. Uh, she's not much of a physical attacker, although, you know, you could use her to good extent here. But you'll mostly want her for healing, so she's not super practical in most places. Uh, unfortunately, we can't go into Retro Mario View once again. Apparently that was a one-time use thing. Um, now, the main reason why we're going all this way is you guys remember Knife Guy and Great Guy. They were kind of assholes who just appeared at the last second with no rhyme or reason being here. Well. Here's Knife Guy, and you remember one of the uh, patrons that I think Mary Moore, uh, he was saying something about a casino. This is your key to get into that casino. Also, before we start, I'd like to make note of something that I thought was kind of funny. Is that our only special items are the tenor card. I thought it was going to still have the alto card, but nope. Our only special item is the tenor card. Um, we'll actually be getting a different type of card that will allow us to get into this. However, you must play a little game with Knife Guy. Hee hee hee! I'm really sorry about before. I thought you were a booster, man. You kind of confused me with the scraggly mustache and the wide buggy eyes, so... Anyway, I'll make it up to us, uh, by playing a game. Oh, interesting. Anyway, this time's for real. You up for it? Absolutely. Of course. Alright, guess which hand the yellow ball is in. IF YOU CAN! Now watch carefully, so... He'll go back and forth, and you have to choose which one it is. Obviously, it was the right hand. Right? No, it's this one. Alright, Enterprise goes to the winner. However, the thing that sucks is he's gonna give us really shitty items every time we win. Now, you wanna do this, I believe, 12 times or 25 times, over and over. Um, anytime you mess up, he will actually deduce a score, but every time you get it, then, you know, you'll get it. So. Say we had 10 points and we miss up, we'll have 9 points, we'll have to do it 3 more times, or something. But anyway, um, I'll just go ahead and speed this up, because there's not really any reason to show every single one of these attempts, except that it gets, uh, continually more difficult, so. And that was on the, on his right hand, 3 times in a row. Anyway, Wiltstrom's also suck, so let's get rid of that, and I'll meet you guys in just a moment. Oh, hey, there we go, so it is 12. Okay, I don't know where I got 25 from, but congratulations for seeing which hand I kept a really long, large ball in. Apparently I deserve a bright card. 
Now, I would highly recommend holding on to this bright card because there are a couple of things we can do for it, including selling it for 10 frog coins, something that a lot of people don't know about this. Anyway, I'll go get rid of that Wiltroom, and uh, it'll let him get into his brother's casino, wherever that is. Of course, this would be, you know, the other one. Great guy, right? Because he's pretty great. He'll let us in. It would be good stuff, right? I don't know. Alright, let's leave Booster's Tower and unfortunately never return here. God, this has to have made a cameo in some future Mario game at some point, right? Because I know Gino appears at least once in, what was it, Super Mario Superstar Saga, right? Mario and Luigi, rather. So that's good stuff. Um, so yeah, to Star Hill we go, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Super Mario RPG, where, oh, this place. So many good memories here. I actually really do enjoy this place because, well, it takes a lot of uh, pages out of the book of Kingdom Hearts. By talking to one of these very strange flowers, you can open up these stars, their keyholes at least, and go to an area, such as Marymore. So, yes, talk to the flower and the stargate will open. Because that makes a lot of sense. Now, this area is actually pretty interesting because, well, it's Star Hill. Wishes which were transformed at the Star Road fall from here, but uh, some wishes that haven't been granted yet are falling because Smithy destroyed the road. Damn it. You would think Star Hill would be the one that was destroyed, and Star Road would be the way leading up to it. I don't know, but anyway, he mentioned a star piece on the hill, so let's see if we can find it. Yes, let us find it indeed. Now, the main gimmick of this area is to talk to every single one of these uh, lovely flowers in order to get through these doors. However, Scattered around, you're gonna see these little stars with faces on them. Can't wait to start a family. Over the course of the game, the people that we've met, these are their wishes, and that's kind of awesome. I'm assuming that that is probably Raz, and this one may be Rainy. They're married! Raz and Rainy from Mushroom Kingdom, who then got married in Marymore, are having a baby. Oh wait, you know what that means? <laughs> straight up had a shotgun wedding it's like oh shit she's pregnant god I, oh man he was like god damn it oh uh, anyway there's a bunch of new enemies here some of them are pretty tricky because you remember that omniscient voice was telling us hey don't attack those spiky things i would recommend not doing that wish i had some cricket jam oh boy i wonder who that is mallow no it's that other guy all right let's go fight these guys see what we got Oh, Jesus Christ! Star Road? What the f- A Master Doom! I see what you did there, game. That's amazing! I've never seen this enemy here in my life! Do I- Yeah, let's kill it. Let's kill it. Hard. I had no idea this thing was in here. That's incredible. I'm gonna Gino beam the hell out of it. This is- It's kind of scaring me. Because I feel like this is- Could be a really powerful enemy. Oh, well. Maybe not. Alright, so Peach's special moves are therapy, that boy needs therapy, yes, Mario needs therapy, and group hug, these will heal one person and to all people, you know, simultaneously, so we'll use that when we need to. Uh, is there any items we could use? Lucky Jewel, maybe. I don't know. Or we could just do the regular slap glove. Bitch slap the Master Doom. Also, I messed up on the timing. Ooh. Oh my god. Holy shit. <laughs> what a way to start off with Peach and she dies immediately. Alright, well, apparently the timing is very strange on that, so... And I, my HP was max, nice. Good thing we had it with Peach. Is that the first death we've had so far in this game? I think it might be. I, I think as of this point, we have never had a, a character die in battle <laughs> until Princess Peach's very first foray into the battlefield. That was great. That was amazing. Hey, Mario leveled up. Sweet. So, we're at level, what is that, 9? So, I guess that would probably be Hill? This one? It would be one of these two. I just don't remember which one. It's probably health, I think. Let's go with health. Whew. And Mallow also, I forgot about him. And since he's the same level, ooh, that's 3 in 1. That's 4. Eh, we don't usually use, you know, power with this guy, so we'll go with Max HP. Ooh, I am so sorry, Princess Peach. Now, what's good is that, you know, they will still regain health at the very end and get their experience. So again, this game is pretty lenient when it comes to, you know, leveling up and things like that. 
Like I said, it's very vanilla, <laughs> so... Anyway, let's continue onwards. Uh, we can't go this way, though. There is an invisible barrier here. God damn it. I swear to God, I've never seen that Master Doom in my life. I, I wish I weren't such a crybaby. Aww. Aww, Johnny Depp, I'm so sorry. Oh, Jesus, this one's private. Oh, that's you, Mallow. I'm sorry, no. It's not my fault. You were fine and dandy with it when we were doing it to Raz Rainey and your grandfather, but when it comes to you... <laughs> ah. Hypocrite. <laughs> sorry about that. It's just that I'm embarrassed by my wish. It's okay, Mallow. We all have really weird wishes. Like, I remember when I was super young and I saw Dragon Ball Z for the first time. I had, like, prayed to be a Super Saiyan at some point. I was like, <laughs> please, it would be so cool. I think this was probably in like 2000, so. <laughs> or something, 2001 maybe. I don't know. But anyway, we can now go through the next area. Excellent. God, that looks, that's just such a bizarre way of like going from place to place on Star Hill. If I could just get that melody, oh man. I am so sorry, Bono, but that's just never gonna happen. That's just, it's just gonna be the wish that never will come true. <laughs> And we got this one. The hunger, oh, for some food. Of course, Bloom makes wishes. That just seems like it's just wishful thinking at this point. How is this in any regards like a wish in any capacity? <laughs> I want to be a world-class baker. Thank you, Tort. You're good, Mr. Terrafin. Let's fight this guy, this Muku Muku. I always love these. Oh, God, there he is. So, uh, much like before in the mole mines, these guys have the tendency to use an attack that will kill you instantly. In the mines, if you had used a special attack on them, they would detonate and instantly kill somebody. However, these guys can detonate at will, so take them out immediately and hope to god that they don't murder you, because more often than not, they will. Anyway, Muku Muku's very interesting, kind of hilarious inside jokes with Nintendo. And you guys are going to see what I mean by that in the next area. There's that, I suppose. Peaches bitch slapping some bitches. Oof. He's got that weird, like, eek, eek, that weird move there. I'm going to go jump on you. Good sir. There we go. And, oof, didn't kill you. Did not die by the sole feet of Mario. It's a little disappointing, but that's all right. Do -do 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 do 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 Barely hear the volume. That's all right. Alright, so no wishes down here to speak of. These are just wishes by no-named people who I don't care about. Ugh. Alright, what does this one say? Please let Mallow find his way home? Say what? This wish is for my mom and dad. That's a very strange way to put it, considering all of the other wishes have been by singular people. I don't know how that one could have been conformed to. Wishing for me to come home. Oh, Mallow. It's like, oh. Poor fellow. Don't cry. Yes, it isn't the time to be crying. They're waiting for me to come home. Come on, Mario. We've got a busy schedule to keep. I'll make you eat dust if you don't hurry. Wow, that's kind of rude. You know I'm dust particle intolerant. Not very nice. I want to be the best treasure hunter in the world. Ooh, that's somebody. That's somebody we probably know. Just can't think of. It's probably someone really obvious, too. It's probably the apprentice. <laughs> and there we go. Are those all the wishes? Did we get all of them? I don't think we did, because we have one more area, and then we're good. Who's the treasure hunter? Now I'm confused. I don't remember. Anyway, we're gonna do this one last time, and actually, this might actually lead us away, like, take us out of here. Because this is where the star might be. Alright, do we fight the Muku Muku? Let's do it. Just for one more fight, for, you know, convenience sake, I suppose. We will kill the Pulsar, and hope to god he doesn't survive! Thank you. Oof, that was a close one. Right, I'm gonna shoot these endangered animals in the face. They're indigenous only to Star Hill, so... <laughs> He's dead. Alright, let's see if we can guard against this. Ooh, sometimes, yeah, he'll throw shit at us. That's not cool. Where'd you get that bone from? Did you just jack it off some Master Doom? That's what I'm assuming. Also, I completely missed there, because I wanted to jump, but I just forgot. I was being a dum-dum. Alright, so that's all the fights we're going to be doing here. I think that's all of them, aside from the, uh, the crook wannabes. There's going to be a, a really good opportunity to level up coming up here soon, so we don't have to worry about fighting too many people here. I want to be a great plumber like my brother Mario. Of course, from the brother who makes no appearance in this game, aside from the end credits. That is laughable. 
God, that's such a weird way to phrase a wish. It's like, I'm just gonna make my identity just clear so we know that you don't get confused with any other Italian plumbers. I hope I become famous. I'm guessing that might be Punchinello. Because, in case you don't remember, he was the guy who wanted to be YouTube famous by making a bunch of viral videos that sucked. Wish I could run faster. Oh, that's the Yoshis! Oh, I forgot the Yoshis made wishes too! I wanna run faster. Ah, oh, poor Yoshis. With that, doorway is opened, and before us lies a beautiful purple star. This is great. Unfortunately, the thing about this that I'm not a huge fan of is... I feel like this isn't the star that we earned. It's not really the one that we deserve, yet we're getting it. And granted, you know, we did go through all the mayhem in Marymore as well as, you know, booster tower nonsense, but in all honesty, it just, just feels like a hollow victory. Hmm. Also to mention the fact that the star piece is already here. Like, where else are we going to take this after we've collected the three other stars that we need to earn? It's like, you know, taking the shine sprites from Delfino Plaza. It's like taking all 30 of those and then being like, Hey, we brought you all your stuff back. <laughs> You've come a long way, but your journey's not over yet. There are three more star pieces. Thank you, omniscient voice in my head. I appreciate it. So that might be everything. The plumber like Mario. I think we have everyone. The only one I can't think of... Is is that whole, I don't know, the treasure hunter one. Somebody please refresh my memory. It's probably Samus Aaron. But we'll see, because that was Star Hill. That was literally it in Star Hill. So let's head to Seaside Town, because this is our next area we need to visit. And it will take us to our fifth star, you guys. Although I'm not a big fan of this place, because A, it reminds me of Rose Town, and B, it's playing the Trouble Town music. Plus, it doesn't seem to have a very demeaning atmosphere. Everything still seems happy and joyous. Alright, what are you twin gray people doing here? You may not enter here. It is a restricted area. Go back to your post. Go back to your post. That's not cool. So, this is Trouble Town 2.0. It's not going to be good business for us because, well, this place is a little bit long-winded. But let's see what the inhabitants have to say here. There's no arrows raining down on our necks. So we've got ourselves. I'm just a customer doing customer things and glitching through people. Don't tell me you want supplies. I know. Sweet. Well, I have 114 coins, so it's not going to be very good. But I'll sell some items because we have a shitload of them. I have more Kira Kira Colas than anything else. How does that work? Also, no maple syrups. I think that's the better version of the honey syrups. But we, oof, we might want to start using some of this stuff. 